matches, there's no hiding place. Things do actually go wrong. Make the right decisions at the right time. Well here we are back at Gold Valley. Today's e-magazine is on a match. I think it's very good for you to see how I go about not only fishing in a match, but obviously the decisions, which we've spoke about in past issues. They are very important, the decisions you make before the match and in the match. Today's match I've drawn peg nine on gold. It's not my ideal draw. There's been a lot of fish on the waggler and on the straight lead, which is really what I wanted to do today, a nice open water peg. Peg nine, you have got the point of the main island on gold. Today I'm going to start on a method feeder, 50-50 ground bait and micro pellets with an 8mm pellet on the hair, cast out to the point of the island. Sometimes this peg can be very good, but not always. I'm going to be making the decision in the match, and this is where, as we do know, the real importance comes in the decisions that you make in the match. And I'll be making the decision quite early, whether to stick with the method feeder, if I'm catching a few fish, or to come off of it and just fish my normal match over a loose fed area, waggler and straight lead. It's every other peg today, but with the weather as it is, it's very sunny. The wind's got up a little bit. I don't think I'm going to put an edge rig up. We've still got about 50 minutes before the match actually starts. I've set up two method rods, a straight lead and a waggler. The reason for the two method rods is it can be a bit snaggy. And if you do have a few fish, you can suffer with line breakages getting cut off where the bottom's quite rough. But all in all, I do quite fancy the draw. I think the pegs to my left are going to be very good. Got Paul Holland to my right, again in open water. It's what I would have preferred to have been in open water. I know he's going to fish a waggler stroke straight lead match, and he will be very, very hard to beat. But like I've said before in articles and when we've talked about matches, you've got to fish to what your advantage is. And today, I've got the point of the island, and that's my advantage. If I'm going to win the match, that's probably how it's going to be cast out and there'll be a lot of fish there and you'll be getting bites quite regular. You'd be a fool to ignore anything like this that's in your peg. A lot of anglers haven't got it. Might be an advantage today that the fact that they haven't got it and they're not drawn to it. But the one thing I won't do when I've been given an advantage of even an island or a bank is totally ignore it. And I think that's very important. Okay, you might not win, you might get beat, you might be next to the winner, but you're giving yourself that chance of winning. If if this is the way to win on your peg on that day, then you've got to do it. You know, if you, if you win or if you fail, at least you've given yourself a chance. You've taken the ball by the horns. You've not fed a hundred different lines and tried to do a lot of different things, which a lot of anglers do tend to do. I'll be starting on a method feeder, building up my straight lead stroke waggler line with loose fed 8mm pellets from the word go. Not continuously, but just all, all the time that I can whilst I'm fishing the method feeder. And it might be after half hour, it might be after an hour, hour and a half, but I will be making the decision whether to go all out if I'm catching on a method feeder and stick with it, or to change to the loose fed. I haven't made my mind up about the edge yet. If the wind keeps up, there is a chance that I might well feed it, although it is quite a shallow edge, and really you do need two, two and a half foot. And also, afterwards, we can recap on things that we might well have learnt for next time. I'm now going to run you through the tackle that I've set up today, four rods. Starting with the method feeder rod, a free running 30 gram method feeder. Again, we've got quite a chuck. Do need to give it a bit of a whack to get it out to the island nice and accurately every single time. 10 pound Darver ST mainline, 10 foot tournament feeder rod, 3000 TDX reel, 022 hook length to a size 14 and a small band on the hair. I'm going to start on an 8mm pellet. If there's a lot of fish there, I know it's definitely the best bait. If there's not so many fish there, I'm probably going to be coming off it and looking at fishing a waggler or a straight lead. So two of the rods are absolutely identical. Going on to the straight lead rod. Again, just a decent sized bomb. 
10 pound main line. I've got the fluorocarbon 12 pound shock leader, which we spoke about in, in past articles. Just a little snap swivel so I can change the hook length. A foot hook length of 022, again a size 14, and a little lasso, which I do prefer when you're fishing a straight lead, just over those loose fed pellets. Same rod, same reel as the method feeder. The fourth rod is a Wagner rod. Normally I'd set up a couple of Wagner rods if it was going to be the be-all and end-all, what I was going to be doing all day. But because of the method feeder, this peg, it does give you that extra option, which can be a bit of a pain sometimes when you just, you've got it in your head that you want to come and fish a Waggler and a bomb. But like I say, I'm not going to ignore it here. So the Waggler rod I've set up today, 11 foot tournament pro match, the same reel as on the feeder rods, 8 pound ST line, so slightly lighter, just enables me to cast. I've got a two and a half foot hook length of 022, a size 16 hook and a band, and again, the old faithful census pellet adapter, the waggler adapter, and one of my homemade wagglers. So they're the four rods I've set up today. I'm probably not going to bother with the edge purely because it's very, very shallow. I'm just going to go on to the bait that I've bought with me today. Obviously for the loose feed line, there's no bait limits here at Gold Valley. I've got a nice bucket full of pellets that does me for quite a few matches. Normally use around five, six or seven pints, sometimes a few more, but very, very rarely. For the feeder, the method feeder, I've got 50-50 Old Ghost Green Alga and Micro Pellets. Again, one of my favorite mixes. It's nice and sticky. You can really cast it a long way and it almost melts off the feeder instantly, which is absolutely perfect. And an eight mil pellet's gonna be fished on that. I'm not going to be leaving it out there too long, probably two or three or four minutes at a time to begin with. Look to build it up, but again, I'm going to know by the volume of bites I'm getting if there's enough fish out there to win. I think to win today, the way the wind's blowing, to win the match today, you're going to be looking at well over £100 today, and that's going to be well in excess of 20 to 25 fish. So like I say, you will know quite early on in the match. When I've drawn this peg before and struggled, you catch one or two fish early and then not a lot really happens. To win on the method, you need to be casting out and getting bites regular. It really is a little bit hit and miss, but I have got the backup of the loose fed line.